Hey guys, Ben Vick here, back with another vlog. Vlog number 47. Uh, well overdue vlog. Try and do five and six reviews and then pop a vlog up. So that is exactly what we are doing. Uh, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Uh, what am I vaping on? I'm vaping on my Dacus. My Dacus uh, fancy, fancy dual parallel box mod. Uh, link in the description to uh, Mike Dacus, who makes this mod. Um, super awesome, but super obtainable. So go and uh, go and go and check it out his Facebook, just so you can have a look at all the beautiful mods. Um, Hurricane V2, still loving that, and I now have this drip tip from uh, Bezzy Goldsmith, uh, goldenvapeuk.com. Uh, it makes custom drip tips, and he made one specially to match up this whole setup. Uh, loving this. The juice inside is Raspberry Ripple from the Ice Cream Man, which is available from justadnick.co.uk. Link in the description to that, if I remember. Um... So that's what I'm vaping on. Let's get straight into the comments from the previous vlog. I'm going to try and keep this nice and uh, nice and condensed today. I'm going to try anyway. So I've got things to do. Um, Daily Walker says, It's that mod maker bloke's fault and a love of <laughs> real ales kept you from vape jam travel vlog footage and not being a good father. Up the omies. Uh, yep, it was. It was the. It, do you know what? The, it was the main reason I didn't get any good... Uh, travel vlog footage. Uh, it was the weather. It was the weather. It was too lovely outside, so I was hardly in the venue. Um, but Vape Expo coming up. I'm going for all three days, I think. So I, I will. I will. If if I go for all three days of uh, Expo, I will do a travel vlog because I'll focus on it uh, and I'll make it a thing. Uh, what else? Uh, Mega Foxy says, uh, great vlog, bud. Dacus, very sweet indeed. Uh, especially the green. Uh, didn't end the giveaway. Uh, never liked Camry crab. And pipes are for old farts, lol. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know if they're for old farts. I think it's just a vape style, isn't it? It's just a vape style with these pipes. And it's never really grabbed me at all. Never really appealed uh, to me. Uh, the way they have to be, you know, that it's a really big pipe if you get an 18650 in there, and if you don't put an 18650 in there, it's battery life's rubbish, it's really small, it's a strange shape, it's not pocket friendly. Uh, the whole pipe thing really has passed me by. Um, not only that, but the other reasons I didn't review that Camry were... Um, it been out ages. it been out ages and ages, and I really disliked the original version, and I just couldn't see myself getting on with that. But that went to a winner. That went to a winner all is well. Uh, sorry if you can hear the rain thudding in. It's uh, suddenly started chucking it down. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 all that good stuff. Uh, also, buy stuff from... <laughs> okay. Um, Danny. Danny. I'm sorry about the language I used in the description of the previous vlog. I, uh, I fixed it. Uh, it was only tongue-in-cheek. Um, I didn't think anyone read descriptions, to be honest, but there you go. Um, uh, immacula. Immacula. Lama. Lacumala. Lacumala one? Uh, but this this dude reminds me of Mrs. Doubtfire. Uh, and I replied, I did used to be a woman. Uh, yeah. Pff, yeah. Um, good, good feedback as always. Uh, I guess, I guess to a lot of people watching, I do have a, I do have a silly voice, uh, but it is my voice, and I can't do anything about it. Apologies. Uh, Grimmy Mark says I'm an old vaping fart. Uh, I put cool. <laughs> uh, Steve, oh, Stephen has more serious one now. Oh, a long one. Uh, Stephen Harding says regarding vape jam juice non-compliant issue it was one person complaining and making a big hoo-ha over nothing pathetic really to be honest i'm going to go to said person's event and let's see how well they they police their event also the same person after the, all this hoo-ha allowed a vendor to post in his group advertising nick shot juice and they and they were start stating that it was tpd compliant load of tosh just jealousy in my eyes um yeah, I don't know. I don't know about any of that. Um, I, I just know that um, Vape Jam was a massive event, very hard to police. Uh, they worked with, you know, they worked with the compliance officers. Uh, they worked with, you know, trading standards. 
Uh, they did everything they could, their end really, I feel, to have a great show and uh, be on the right side of the law. And I, th I think it's all good. Um, some of the juices that we're all... I say we all. That some of the juices that some people are jumping on and slagging off now, they happily they happily promoted, they happily sold, they happily reviewed uh, all these juices back in the day. Uh, and we've suddenly done a big U-turn and gone all dramatic on all these things. Um, yeah, st I stand by what I said in my previous vlog on on this whole topic. And anyone that missed it, go back and watch the last ten minutes of the previous vlog. Um, it's over to trading standards now, in my opinion, and we'll see what happens. Uh, if you want to be a good shot, if you want to be successful, if you don't want to have any scrapes with trading standards and people like that, then uh, you keep your ship tight. Um, uh, okay, Jay McCall said, I had to comment this. I have recently went back and tried some of the juices I didn't like in different tanks at lower wattages. I don't know why it didn't dawn on me that juices would taste different on different wages, but they do. I learned something from your vlogs, thanks. Uh, yeah, totally, totally. Certain flavourings can't handle the heat. Certain flavourings taste better at lower wattages. Certain things taste way better in Clapton's, in my opinion, uh, and that's to do with the varying heat within the actual coil itself, you know, so you're getting levels, you're getting variants. Um, yeah, certain juice can't hack high temp, certain juice can't... Certain juice is just tasteless at low temp, you know, it's, it's all different, it's all different. It's um, it's a bit like cooking, you know, sometimes you rip that you rip that top off and then you look at the back because you've ripped the top off, so you can't turn it round anymore and you realise you need to read the underside and you go, uh, uh, and you read the top and it's, sometimes it says cook at 180, sometimes it says cook at 220, you know, uh, everything needs different temperature uh, and everyone just finds their sweet spot and, you know, if you like high wattage then maybe certain juicing for you, um, but yeah, all good stuff, all good stuff. Uh, Lennon38 yeah, says, great blog as always, May. Uh, compared to our American, to America, our vape industry is getting off lightly, so glad I live here. Yeah, we are, we are, the TPD versus the FDA. Uh, no contest. We're uh, we're doing all right, and uh, I think overall going forwards, the UK is going to be a vape friendly nation, which is very good indeed. Uh, one more, one more. Oh, uh, Schnibler sixty four says only one thing to say about your talking point, Richard. Uh, this is what we've just been talking about. Um, here, bloody here, well said indeed. Oh, thank you, Schnibler. Um, and vaping biker says, "Thanks for your, th thanks for the love, you splendid man. You, I said any time, uh, to the vaping biker, and he, he did hit 40k. Literally about the point I put that vlog out. Perfect, uh, all good stuff. Uh, uh, and Scott uh, hit 50,000 subscribers as well. Scott Bonner, so oh, that's amazing as well. 50,000 subscribers uh, for a UK reviewer is some going. Uh, okay, so that's that." So if I just click on here and then do this and then we'll come back to that. Good times. Uh, okay, so what have we got coming up for review? The reason we're all here. What have we got coming up for review? Okay, so I've still got battery in here. Still got this to review. This is the uh, pieces from Carrie's. Uh, and if you remember, I, I haven't reviewed it since the last vlog when I mentioned it. It's a bit like the army, but it's two big spring coils rather than one. What have we got this at? <laughs> Takes a little while to heat up this thing. As you can see, it totally works. Um... Not totally sold on it. Stay tuned for the review. I haven't seen anyone else reviewing this yet. Um, it's a bit of an underground. I mean, it's a company I've not heard of. It's a tank I've not heard of, and it's all a thing. Uh, but it's interesting. You know, it's an interesting tank. So we will we will be reviewing that. Don't you worry. What else have we got? Oh, we've got this. We've got the Kylin, Killin, Kaylin, whatever you want to call it, uh, from Vandy Vape. This is their new Monster RTA. Hello. Um, this is their new big, big, big boy RTA. Uh, it's I say it's a big boy, but actually it comes with a two mil tank and a six mil tank. And I've put the six mil tank on because it chucks tits. Uh, 
I don't want to give anything away, but I am loving this tank so, so hard. Um, it just is an absolute flavour machine. You throw your sub tanks in the bin. This is an absolutely beast RTA. The flavour is immense. Uh, you need that six mil tank though because it proper drinks the juice as as it would. But 55 watts that was, and it's it chucks it. It chucks it. It's a bit crazy inside. I'm really looking forward to reviewing that because a I'm really enjoying it, and b it's a lot going on. There's a lot going on in there. Um, so the Kylin from Vandy Vape is coming up as well. Um, what else? Oh, also from Vandy Vape, we have this. Oh, no batteries in it. Uh, this is the uh, Perseus Perseus RDTA. Now we've just done the Merlin RDTA, and we talked about that a fair bit in the, in in the review for that. <laughs> uh, and uh, oh, what's this? What's this? Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so that's this is the Perseus RDTA. Um, quite the thing. It's got some new stuff on it. Uh, I did say in the Merlin RDTA that there was a little bit of a, a little window of standstill with the RDTAs, and it looked like they'd reached their point, and then the Merlin came along with some very clever, clever additions, and I, I was really, really enjoyed that RDTA. Uh, this one, it, this one has some of those features as well. It has the, the, the crazy wicking uh, situation where you can just stuff so much cotton down each side rather than poking it down the little holes, which is excellent. This one's very sexy as well. I don't really have a mod to do it justice. Could go on a wooden mod, I guess. Um, but uh, so I don't really have a mod that will do it justice. Uh, this one, this one fits the goon tips as well. So it builds and wicks a bit like the Merlin, but it's sexier. It does the goon tips thing. It's also got some other little tricks as well. Uh, so quite, um, quite fond of that Perseus uh, RDT8. So we've got that coming up as well. Uh, we've got this. This is the Tarot Nano from Vapresso. Look at that! They've done some new style ones, some new looking ones. Even the tank is all rainbowy. Look at that! Tanks rainbowy, the the mods rainbowy. Very cool indeed. Um, this one is a built-in lipo. It's very very small, as you can see. Uh, very very small. Comes with this tank. Uh, what are we at? Forty-two watts. Not bad. These um, coils are the coils from the S Tok. The S Tok tank. They're slightly revised, but it's the same principle. They're incredibly small uh, coil heads. They're very cheap, um, but that allows a lot more room in the tank for everything else. Um, and and if you remember S Tok, I thought that was a very very good tank. So pretty little mod with um, a pretty good tank on there. And these crazy new colours. Look at that. Even the the metal bit is all rainbowy. It's got this crazy pattern. You seeing that all right? Crazy pattern on it. Uh, so they've done these new style, this new style system off. Sounds good. Um, so they've got that. That's the Tarot Nano. This is the Tarot Mini. And again, they've got these new style, uh, these new sort of, this new look to it, these new fascias on it. Uh, the actual mods have been out a little while. You can see all the reviews of them. Um, they've done, they've re they've, they seem to have reviewed quite well so far. What does that button do? I don't know. Um, oh, what does that say? Oh, what does that mean? I don't know anything about this mod yet. Um, yeah, so this one is an 18650 jobby, and it does come with a tank as well. But I'm enjoying this. Uh, I'm enjoying this serpent on top instead, um, because it's black. It works better than the actual tank it comes with. Uh, but we'll get to that. Uh, but it, it looks to me to be the same board as the Nano. Uh, but this one is a is a bigger a bigger situation. This one's an 18650 Jobby. They're both very nice and Nano, though. I mean, uh, by that I mean slim. They're, they're, both, they're, they're both very slim, you know, not too much bigger than an actual tube. You get your hand around it really nice. Uh, and it pockets quite well as a result. Uh, so this, what's up? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Love me some RDTA action, RTA action. Um, yeah, so I've got it like set up like this. I think it looks, dude. Uh, look at that. So yeah, they've got these fancy new things. Uh, I need to look into those a bit more because I think they might have upgraded the board from the original Tarot Mini and Nano as well. Uh, so I need to look into those things. What else? Tarot, Tarot, Perseus, Curlin, 
pieces. Yes, those are the things I want. To those are the things I want to show you now. Uh, I, I've got some more things in the post, um, apparently. But I don't like to talk about the things that are in the post anymore because <laughs> uh, sometimes they never come. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that's what's actually on my desk for the in the window between this vlog and the next vlog. Those are the things that will be getting reviewed. Maybe. Maybe the odd one slid in because uh, they're literally waiting for me at work right now, some of the things. Uh, so, yeah, so that's all good. That is all good. That's what we've got coming up. Uh, previously reviewed items. We'll click this again now. Uh, previously reviewed items. The Merlin RDTA we've talked about. Uh, don't have it to hand. Uh, that's um, lovely. A lovely, lovely vape. Crazy looking. Crazy drip tip. Um, but very clever upgrade of the RDTA format very very nice vape quality the most important thing obviously vape quality very tasty lovely vape um will it get superseded by this though mm -hmm. don't know do know actually but uh, i'm not saying uh so there's that so the merlin rdta uh if you thought rdtas had reached a point well they just went to the next level with that one uh that was pretty clever pretty clever the way that was done top filling was clever wicking was clever all that good stuff uh, so there was that uh penguin the penguin from joytech uh yeah i did a quick look on that i tend to do a quick look with the all-in-ones because they're quite simple and uh it gets that it gets them out there to you know so people can become aware of them quickly rather than just just it just doesn't need much reviewing like actual time spent reviewing it you know, uh, so I just tend to get those two videos quite quick. Uh, quick look, if you're still interested after seeing that quick look, um, then go and check out a full review, is what I would say. Um, I'll just grab one, because they are neato. They are proper nice, proper good. The reason I can't show you my penguin right now is literally in my work bag, and has been ever since. It's it's a perfect on-the-move vape. It's a such a good on-the-go vape. I'm going to be using that penguin. I'm going to, I'm going to I'm going to be buying coils for that penguin uh, when they run out because the longevity seems to be ace on them. Um, if you can get hold of a non-TPD one, I know that's not the not the wisest words ever, and certainly if you're a shop, I wouldn't uh, recommend getting the non-TPD ones. But if you can get hold of the eight mil tank, oh, beautiful, two thousand mar eight mil tank, and the vape quality is good for what it is. The vape quality is very decent indeed. I've uh, you know I've got six mg in there. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's good. I'm really impressed with that penguin. Really impressed with that penguin. Uh, it's just a really solid thing. It's like, it's almost like a non-vape company made it. It's almost like Apple made it or something like that because it's just so, it's so sophisticated. You know, it's like a real product that another industry would sell in there. <laughs> you know, uh, it's it's good. The penguin, I'm impressed with that penguin. If you missed that video, go check it out. Um Joytech, I think they knocked it out of the park with that. That's exactly what an all-in-one should be like. Uh, the looks are subjective, obviously. It's a bit crazy that it looks like a penguin. But, um, but yeah, I'm impressed with that. I'm impressed with that. It's a proper good on-the-go vape. Um, I would like to see a higher ohm uh, coil option, though, for smokers. But, uh, but, yeah, decent, decent that penguin is. It is. Uh, the Druga. The Druga divided uh, opinion. On the thing I think people sometimes when you do a review um, you don't make it clear enough your opinion of that product and your thoughts on that product uh, and I don't think I made it clear enough that I think the post holes are sh <laughs> this clamp post system thing uh, is it it it's truly it oh, oh I've been swearing <laughs> oh, I'm sorry uh, uh, it's not good, but it's usable, and once you've built it, it's a cracking vape. It's a really nice vape. So the post holes are bad. That is a bad design. It's a bad idea. The goon is so much better. The clamps on the goon are so much better. The velocity, the posts on the velocity are so much better, so much easier to work with. But once you've got your coil in there, it's a very nice vape indeed. And I like the other things that they've done, deep juice well, goon tips, airflow. So it's a, it is a nice... Oh, it is a nice vape, but those postals are rubbish. That's a lovely vape. I've got um, Wu Wah cigar in there. Beautiful. So that was that. That was the Drew. That was the Druga. That was the Druga, and I'm still using it because once you've got those coils in there, it's a lovely vape. The Primo V2 kit smashed it. They smashed it. They knocked it out of the park. Uh, 
yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely thing. A Primo V2 uh, is as good as a V1, and I, uh, I adore the V1. So that's a brilliant thing. The Primo Mini. Oh, that's in my bag as well. <laughs> uh, the Primo Mini uh, uh, is good too. If you like single 18650 regulated mods, the Primo Mini, Primo Nano, whatever it was, uh, is a very good uh, mod indeed. And the Procore Ares tank on there is divine. Superb improvement on the uh, Unimax. Uh, superb evolution. The Cleto XO. Where's that? Where's the Cleto XO? Oh, yeah, where is the Cleto XO? Oh, that's in my work bag too. Uh, uh, yeah, the Cleto XO is awesome. I'm still rocking that coil head. 30, 40 mil down the line. A flavor is fantastic. Uh, if you love the 0.4 coils on the original Cleto, do you need it? I don't think you need it. Uh, if you want a high power sub tank in your life and you don't have one, you need that Cleto XO. It is the boss. And when my coils run out, I'm going to get the 0.4. Ups the capacity to 3.5 mil and uh, it'll be singing away. It'll be singing away. Uh, what else do we do? Did the Voopoo? Don't have that to hand. Uh, it was what it was. Very good board. The enclosure, not so great. Uh, the Desire Rabies. The Desire Rabies is here. Um, here we go. Here's the Desire Rabies. Uh, that is this thing here. Uh, crazy, crazy, crazy RDA. Uh, but very nice vape, and I think it's very clever with what it did. Uh, so that is the Desire Rabies. And these ramps, they point up at the coil. You need to go watch the review, really. Uh, talk about it more. But the idea is with uh, the, the rabies RDA is that uh, the, the airflow goes in like that from under the coil and up. So it's, it's under coil style flavor, uh, but it doesn't, it doesn't leak everywhere when you drip down the top. So that's the idea behind that. And uh, very nice it is too. Um, yeah, I, th I thought it was pretty solid. Pretty solid RDA. Uh, what else? That's not it. That's not everything, is it? Uh, rabies, uh, Primo Mini, uh, Vupu. Okay, yeah. So that is that. That is all that good stuff. Uh, we need to do. We need to do a little giveaway. Uh, to the giveaways. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, okay, so giving away some pretty random stuff here. Um, okay, so what we're giving away is this. This is one of the things we're giving away. This is the SMY uh, 75 watt mini uh, with the wood finish. I bought this <laughs> ages ago because I just thought it was sexy. Uh, I know it's not real wood or anything like that, but I just think that's a sexy little mod. I think that's a really sexy little mod. Uh, uh, and it's cool and it works fine and stuff. It's a bit quirky the way it works, but... Um, that's a, that's a doody little thing. So there is that, the SMY75. The other thing is this. Let me just open her up. This is the big one. This is the, where does it say on it? Oh, this is the iCare 160 uh, kit thing. Uh, reviewed these a while back. Again, a sort of all in one -y type system. Uh, it's a big fella. This is the big one. There was three sizes. This is the big one. And this is the, the more airy one as well. Uh, but this is, a, yeah, a big cloudy uh, piece. Uh, and uh, the the, be the best vape of the of the three, really, I would say, as a, as a vapor. Maybe as a smoker, the smaller ones would be more appealing. But this one was probably the best vape. So this is the E-Leaf Eye Care 160. So we're going to give that away as well. Let me just put these in my... I'm giving them away the thing. Oh. Okay. So, to win, to win, here's what you have to do. You have to email me, cd underscore v1ck at hotmail.com. The title or subject of your email needs to be giveaway47. In the body of the email, I need your name and address and the answer to this question. What is the name of this tank? 
What is the name of this tank? I showed it you earlier. What is the name of it? Uh, it's by Vandy Vape, if you need a clue. Uh, what's the name of that tank? What is the name of that tank? CD underscore V1CK at hotmail.com. Giveaway 47. Name, address, and answer. Get on it. Get on it. Some cool little things. That mod's duty. That mod is duty. So try and win it. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Other bits and bats. Uh, drama. Fake drama. Not getting involved. <laughs> Not getting involved at all. Uh, what I would say is... I'm not getting involved. What is this... One love, people. One love. Let's get back to that one love ting that we used to have. Can you hear the rain? Crazy. Other things. Uh, oh, if anyone's wondering about the podcast, it doesn't look like it's happening. It, does, it looks like we're going to completely shut down the podcast. I'm sorry. It's just no time. Cloudy's too busy. I'm pretty busy, and Cloudy's really, really busy, so it just doesn't look like that podcast is happening. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, Let's Fake Podcast. What we will do is we will definitely keep it on SoundCloud, so people can go back in time. I might even get Joe to upload them to his YouTube channel if he's up for that, um, so people can listen to the podcast on YouTube as well. And obviously I'll link to them and stuff if that happens. But you can listen to them on SoundCloud, but I don't think there's going to be any new ones. We did, I don't know how many we did, but we did a long run of podcasts. They were really good fun, really loved it, loved Joe, but uh, we're too, too busy. Uh, however, the Ideal Ohm Show continues to go from strength to strength. Uh, so check out the Ideal Ohm Show. That is uh, a live show on Thursdays, 9pm UK time, that uh, that I am one of the people on. Uh, so we that's really good. And that's that's uh, it's, it's really popular. It's the biggest, biggest live show in the UK. Uh, so yeah, check it out. Uh, I think that's it though. I think that's it. I did say I wanted to keep it brief. Uh, I don't want to get into any news or drama or nonsense. Um, get your tickets for Expo. Get that sorted out and I will see you there for sure. Uh, that'll be great and that'll be good. Uh, what else? That's it. I think that's it. I'm going to wrap it up. I wanted to keep this short. Uh, so that's that. Uh, thank you for watching this vlog, if you have. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Enter the giveaway. Uh, comment below. Comment below on anything uh, anything you've seen, what you think. Just, just like, pick a thing that I've talked about and uh, say whether you like that thing or not. Yeah? <laughs> Do you like the hurricane? Do you like the Kylin? <laughs> Do you like... Uh, do you like uh, the sound of any of these things? Uh, yeah, so that's that. I've been Vic. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. 